It's Mr. Hartnady here, uh, just making a video of the garage works that we'd like to have done to our house. So I'm standing outside at the front of the house now, um, and this is this is a garage we would like the works to get done. Uh, the measurements are, it's about 2.7 meters across, and it's a normal garage depth of uh, six meters, uh, just in terms of, of dimension. So what we'd like to do is divide the room into two sections. So the rear section would be a, a child's play area and the front section here would be for storage. Uh, the dividing line would be this point here where the end of the garage wall is. Uh, so we'd like to put a stud wall in here um, and have that fully insulated and continuous all the way with no gaps. Possibly might need to put some ventilation in, but um, we don't know yet. That's, that's the only, only outstanding question that we've got. The other thing we'll need to do is remove the electric motor. So this is what operates the door on a remote. We'll take that out completely. It's not necessary anymore. Um, and that'll give us the, the space that we need. So so this, the stud wall will be flush with the end of the end of the garage door. And that will create a space over here where we could, that we can use for storage. The only works really that we'll need done to this room uh, is a electric plug socket on the wall uh, and we need that for our electric car um, and leaf blower and, and other paraphernalia. Um, and then we'll also need a light fitted onto the wall uh, and that's because this switch over here operates this light over here which would be in the other room and that doesn't make sense so we need to get rid of that light uh, and rewire the switch so that it will operate uh, potentially a uh, a wall light here obviously we don't want to put one on the roof for obvious reasons so that's pretty much the only works we need for the storage area no insulation obviously um, which brings me on to this area here so this will be a playroom accessible by means of a, a door in the wall here um, I'll walk through to the other side to show where that uh, door would come out inside the house um, but what we'd like done in this room is obviously insulation. So the, the floor would need to be insulated. This red marking here uh, is the floor line. So the top of the red marking there is basically where the floor starts on the other side of the wall in the house. So that should be ample space to put insulation in. Um, and then I presume the roof is already insulated uh, because above that you've got our lounge and uh, we wouldn't need to do insulation on that wall or that wall uh, because they connect to the house uh, so there's already insulation behind those walls so it would just be knock knock a wall knock a hole in here put a door in there um, board these two walls and plaster them and paint them and then this wall because it's uh, on the other side of this wall there's another garage so that's quite cold we would need to insulate this room so we'll lose a bit of space here but that would need to be insulated boarded plastered and painted um, and then finally we want to put some down lights in the ceiling so we'd have six six down lights on a dimmer um, so the wiring would meet, need to be done there and also in the future we may decide to put some speakers in something like that so we, we, we need the wiring to be future proofed in the roof and then the final thing is the plug sockets so there is already a socket over here but it's kind of on the wall We've plugged our fridge into it and that needs to come all the way down to the floor and then we'll probably put another one here on the adjacent uh, sorry the opposite uh, corner of the room um yeah so measurements wise uh, this this is a normal garage so it's six meters in length uh, 2.7 in width um, i'm not quite sure of the distance from uh, from that wall to there but it's basically the length of the garage uh, the garage door um, that's it. There's a circuit breaker here for the main house. So that stays. We may, we may box that in. Uh, but the wall, the stud wall, will fit quite nicely, I think, in between there. Go all the way across. And uh, that's it. The carp, the carp, the, sorry, the floor, we'll carp it ourselves. Um, we've asked our builders not to quote for that. But we'll, we'll do that separately. Um, and obviously, the, we can't put any windows anywhere here. It's a garage door. Uh, sorry, that's a garage on the other side. That's our house. That's our house. And uh, aesthetically, we're not allowed to change the front look of the of the house, so we, we can't put any windows windows in um, at all. Uh, so ventilation is a concern, and you know we'd like some advice on that. Um, so coming inside the house now. So this is where the door would go, 
and we'd want it to swing into the playroom that way so if the wall if the door opens it would cover the uh, circuit breaker here quite nicely I mean we'll probably box it in but that's that's the idea and we do want it swinging inwards um, because we've got all these doors over here they swing all outwards and we don't want doors everywhere so um, it would be quite crowded there um, yeah and then obviously we need to match the spec of the door it's just a basic two panel door but it would need to look exactly the same this wall is quite thick so I'm not sure the same kind of skirting could be done. It would probably need to be something like this, which is a bit, this wall is a bit thicker, um, or have no skirting at all. Just just have a, a, a hole and the door inside the hole like the neighbors have done. Um, yeah, this is a non-load bearing wall. Um, and we know that because every single house on the estate has a door there um, into their garage, except ours for some reason. So it's certainly doable. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching my video and uh, look forward to your comments. Cheers.